Welcome to my channel uh, and welcome to another day of my spring blitz. Today I'm sharing another fun collaboration that's with a bunch of ladies, um, a lot of the same ladies that I've been collaborating with lately. Uh, so that will be down below everyone's links. You can watch everyone's videos. They're all posted today, so it's super fun. Uh, and the challenge today was to either go to the dollar store or thrift store or something and <clears throat> and to kind of like upcycle something. So let me just say this was, we started collaborating on this probably back in like January or February, maybe February. Um, so we bought these products way before any of this quarantine self isolation stuff happened. So um, luckily, because I would not be going to the dollar store, or the thrift store right now, because they are probably closed. I don't know. I'm just assuming. But um, yes, yeah, so... I will have all the links for the other ladies down below. You can binge watch all of the videos and it's super fun. So what I bought, there was actually a lot of inspiration at the dollar store, but what I bought was this little drawer set has two little drawers in it. And I thought it'd be really cool to make it into like a little suitcase. And it's funny because that was my idea back in um, like February when I bought it. And then recently I saw in someone's, um, on someone's, um, Instagram, um, that they did the exact same thing. So I wanted to give credit to them, uh, just because I didn't want it to seem like I was copying them. We just coincidentally both had the idea. She got to it first, but her name is Lacey and I will link her down below, uh, because it was on her Instagram that I saw this as well. And it really just took the idea that I had in my head, sorry, in my head. And, um, I was able to visually see it. So that really helped me figure out what I wanted to do for this uh, project. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So um, I do want to kind of give her a little credit so it doesn't seem like I'm copying her or something, but she definitely gave me some inspiration on this. Um, yeah, so basically what I did was I took, <clears throat> excuse me, it's the morning, so I haven't talked a lot yet. And also I'm not really talking much because I'm not really seeing people. Anyway, um, I took a piece of paper to cover the top of the little drawers and then some papers to look like little suitcase clips. And in Lacey's picture, she actually did like a handle, but I decided I wanted to do like an embellishment cluster on top. Um, so yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. If I'm going to give it to someone or if I'm going to keep it on my desk as like a decorative storage piece or, or what I'm going to do, but, um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out and it was so fun to do all the layering and everything. And, um, it was so fun to go to the dollar store and just kind of think outside the box because it was fun just looking around and looking at the different items and, um, figuring out how I could take an item and make it into something else. Um, yeah, so this is really fun to do all the layers and all of the embellishing. And, um, I love that, that girl, I've been hoarding her, but I thought this would be a good project for it. Cause she just fits so nicely right there. So yeah, I included her and I used, of course, lots of foam and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. And I actually, because we're in isolation, I didn't get the chance to buy uh, Velcro or magnets or anything. So I actually just used an itty bitty little bit of tape to like adhesive tape to um, like put the closure together. Um, and then I put two of those uh, faux wax seals on it to kind of make it look like buttons because I didn't have anything and I obviously wasn't gonna go to the store for some Velcro. And Amazon is very delayed right now for good reason um, because of course they don't want too many people working. So anyway, um, I would encourage you to go check out all of the other channels because I know I'm really excited to see everything they made and their thought process and where their ideas came from and what they were inspired by. This was a really fun project to do. I highly encourage you to when this self-isolation is over to go to the store and just walk around and see what you can find and transform into a fun crafty project. Um, 
Or you could even do this like with kids right now. Uh, if you have some, you know, unused things or I've seen like wooden boxes, you could like paint a wooden box. I've seen people do that, which is really cool. So many different kinds of projects you could come up with if you are thinking about it. Speaking of projects, um, a couple days ago I posted like it was like an origami crown, a DIY crown. You don't need any tools, but it is a fun activity for kids if you want to do that with your kid and you can make a little crown. And if it's a birthday, it can be a birthday crown. If you're playing, it can be like a king's or queen's crown. You can make it to whatever you want. All you need is paper, no special tools. Um, so that video was up a couple days ago. If you want to do that, it was up on the 15th. Um, yeah, it's just a fun project. If I remember, I'll link it down below, but I usually forget to be honest. <laughs> But that is basically it. I used, obviously, as you can see, my Maggie Home Stash. This was also a good project to use up um, scraps of paper. So I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'm excited to fill it with goodies inside as well. And I think it turned out really cute. So I hope this inspired you. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.